Hey traders, this is Ron Haidt. Hope you guys had a fantastic happy Monday. As always, nothing in this presentation shall constitute a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Trading stocks and options involves risk and on specific financial issues shall always be addressed with your financial advisor. We'll kick off here with IWM, the Russell 2000. It was up a little bit today, 0.8%, not bad, right? In the face of the others being flat to down a little bit. Target remains the 200 day of SMA in purple. Then if we look at the mid caps, they tech down 0.62%, again, doing better than the other major indexes, target 200 days. There's no change in the major indexes. Now, I had a question on Chipotle, CMG, from a YouTube viewer. And if I look at the one-year chart, we've, we've busted out. I got a lot of squigglies and lines on here, but we busted out. New all-time highs on a one-year chart. Earnings was just, just a couple days ago. If I go to a five-year chart on a weekly, still looking good. But I think what gets interesting is if I go to a 10-year monthly, now every candle represents one month. Look at what's happened. We've broken out. Now I already have this chart annotated. I got a head, I got a left shoulder, I got a right shoulder, and pop goes the weasel, if you will. But you know what's even cooler? If I take out the head, I remember talking to you guys back in 2017 when Chipotle was really getting taken out behind the old woodshed, that watch the 250 area for support. That was the low back in 2012. We got within a couple bucks of that in October, November, and then we literally tagged it, T-boned it in February one year ago this week or last week. Pretty powerful, right? The intraday low was 247.51. That was the line in the sand. If Chipotle lost 250, holy moly, you're talking about $100 before you find some support on a monthly basis. But now that we have left shoulder, right shoulder, head, we've broken through the ballpark neckline of around 500. Well, think about this. I'm not saying it's going to get there, but just playing horseshoes with technical analysis, 250 to 500, that's a double. If you took that same 250 points, you're saying, whoa, are you talking about 750? Yeah. I mean, and it's not just that the head and shoulders could potentially mean that, that again, I'm just showing you pictures on a chart, right? But here's the bigger deal. You just broke through some previous highs. That is the target period. Whether you want to look at technical analysis and use head and shoulders or not, it doesn't matter. That is the target. So the question was, you know, how is Chipotle looking? It's looking really strong. Five year. Now, this is a weekly chart. You can see it breaking out. Again, target 725 to 750. What would I use as a potential trailing stop? I'm sure that's going to be the next question. On the weekly, the red line, 20 period moving average, exponential moving average needs to stay above it. I got to use something. I just can't go in there and use nothing. Otherwise, things get really messy. And on the one-year daily, I would use the 20-day EMA in red. We need to stay above there. That'll show the momentum is with the bulls. Below it, I'd have to go to neutral. So I hope that was helpful. I did have a question now on profit charts as well. So just really quickly here, I use Thinkorswim profit charts. I do not care who you use. All I do is go to chart settings, you can see the graph chart I have is candle. And if I keep scrolling down my color bars, I don't hide anything. The modules, you can see what's checked, all but one. And then if you go down here to preferences, these are my preferences. So you guys can, you know, pause the YouTube video, check it out. But I hope that's helpful. I do get a couple questions on that from time to time. Next, how about NVIDIA? I'm watching this one. It's, it's very interesting to me. The stock was up around 290, got a 50% haircut in the last six months or so. And we're sitting down around 145. If 145 can't act as support, excuse me, if 125 can't act as support, which was the previous low end of its range back in end of December, we're talking about 100. With earnings coming up, this stock could break out of this range or it could just plummet down here. So what I would consider doing on something like NVIDIA, if I can spell it right, maybe go out to something like April by something more than a month. And if I come out here and I buy an at the money put, it's going to cost about 1040. I think this would be a great exercise in a paper trading, virtual trading account. It's fake money. It's not real money. If I buy 100 shares and then I buy one put, does that one put will protect those 100 shares? If the stock, let's say, drops 40 bucks, what happens? I mean, that would be huge. Well, let's say it does, drops 40 bucks. Well, this was going to be worth nearly what the 185 is. So the stock drops 40. This goes from 10 to 40, puts up 30. You're down about 10 bucks a share, better than a sharp stick in the eye. What happens if the stock jumps 40 bucks? 
Well, 145 would become about 105. Basically, it's worthless. 87 cents with time decay. And volatility decay, that pretty much will be zero. Stock jumps 40, you lose 10. Again, plus 30. It's not going to protect the trade dollar for dollar. But boy, oh boy, it allows you to sleep at night versus, you know, crossing your fingers, praying to the stock gods that it doesn't go down without your put in place. Plus, we did not even account for the use of cover calls. Now, another stock, DPZ Dominoes. I talked to you guys about this back in December and January. I said there is one stock in all those emails I sent out that has a 100% track record right around the big game and thereafter. It was Domino's. I said two things to watch for. Watch the 50-day moving average in orange, institutional moving average, and then watch for a pop in volume. Let me zoom in further. Pop in volume, pop goes the weasel, it's game on. If you go from the end of the day on 117, just check this out. End of the day on 117, a March call costs 1290. Now there's a $2.10, which is basically 20% bid ass spread. Really egregious but it's end of day and it's not all that actively traded. Right now, Thinkorswim is not showing any open interest, but they have their own data issue. It's like this on almost every options chain right now that I saw. And um, so 1290 using ThinkBack. So again, analyze, think back. I put in the date, I see it's 1290. Look what it's worth. You saw what Domino's did, right? Zoom, stock jump 10%. If you're a stock trader, you're really happy. Watch what an options trade would be. DPZ, we go to March, 30 days have passed. And what was it? 260, right? Check this out. We're 35 bucks. Nearly a triple in about a month. Pretty good. That's why stocks that have 10% moves, the options can potentially be amazing. And what I like to teach is this. Let's say I bought a lot or a tranche of three long calls. First long call off at 20%. Second long call off at 100%. Technically, the third one's risk-free now. You took two-thirds of the trade off. One was a win of 20%. The other doubled its value. Well, that paid for the third one. You can't lose here. Well, I guess you could lose if your commissions are you know, crazy expensive. But anymore today, they're a bucket contract type of thing. And with earnings coming up, and even though this stock still has a historical track record, and check this out, here's DPZ. All I did was go to financial, go search, go seasonality, and over the next 12 weeks, watch this. Domino's Pizza has risen higher in 14 of the past 14 years. It's never lost. Does not mean it's going to not lose this year. It could lose this year. Past performance is no guarantee of future performance. But I'm just saying, if you knew it was stock that never lost and all it did was go up for a period of time, isn't that worth taking a look at? Maybe that's better than playing pin the tail on the donkey on the weekend, trying to research our own stocks. So it's never lost and it's amazing. What other thing you can do here is take your mouse and actually see what the data is at any given point. You can see the pops, the pauses, then the rips, which is pretty extraordinary when you start thinking about stocks that have been publicly traded for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. You would think the future probabilistic price, if I go out to the right, would be more like this, just chop suey, right? Periods of flat. Um, yeah, this is, if you ever wondered, like when you buy a stock and it seemingly goes nowhere, I would just say check financial, see how it's historically traded because these stocks can only do this if the big money's behind it. And you can see that it's ripping. So for me to buy 100 shares and think that I can repeat this pattern every year, it doesn't work. There's gotta be more money behind it, which is why I call it the, you know, AKA big money. And this is when the push comes. There's a pause, a little bit of a push, but then the percentages aren't as good. This is typically the best time. So we've had an amazing run on dominoes, I'd be looking to lock in most of that profit ahead of earnings just in case it were to gap down. And then one other stock is PYX. I just found this one looking around. It's Pyxis. I have no idea what they do. I just saw this and the stock is getting really close to the 200 day. I think from a technical analysis perspective, if it gets above the 200 day, which right now is around 1860, so about 10% higher, the immediate targets a gap filled to 25, a little bit of resistance to 27.50, then it's back up here. So yeah, it's a little itsy bitsy stock, you know, 17 bucks, 1.8 million shares today. But wow, the technical analysis part is really enticing. Besides, this stock has been trading around 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 
down in there around 12 bucks and they just can't break it. And when we start seeing the pops, the volume's coming in. And the black volume, oops, move that down. The up days are trouncing the, bound, the down days and the, the trajectory is still pushing higher. So I'll be curious. Just keep an eye on that one again for paper trading purposes. That's it. Wish you guys a great week. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.